we can hold the birds for four hours, which is how long they'll be roosting. So there's no, there's no great rush for, for the birds. They would now be sitting out on the beach without feeding or anything. Instead, they're sitting in the cages. So there's no hurry but that, but obviously we'd like them to go before dark. And we release them in groups. The birds of prey are very common around the northern shores of Roebuck Bay here. Um, so what we do is we get 20 or 30 together and then gather them together and release them all at once and uh, hopefully all goes smoothly. My name's uh, Peter Keyes. I'm from uh, Sorrento, which is uh, near Perth in Western Australia. Last year, about a year ago, when I was in Broome, I attended a very interesting talk that Chris Hassel gave at the uh, Broome Surf Club on the migratory species and the East Asian flyway. And from that talk, I made contact with Chris and was invited out of here a number of times. And uh, this is my second year of coming back to uh, help with the uh, cannon netting and uh, bird tagging. Head bill is 120.4. Thank you. What's it? 371. Yeah. You have the number? Oh, yes. Yes. Um, we got some wimbrel today, which is a bird we rarely catch in the dry season. We got some turnstone, a bird we rarely catch all the time. Um, we got, what else did we get? Tatlers, which uh, we don't catch many of in the dry season, but this year there's lots around. They seem to have had a very good breeding season, so that wasn't such a surprise. And then uh, the knot and god, which is fantastic for this colour banding project we're, we're doing. Um, with funding from uh, BirdLife Netherlands of all places, Holland. So it shows the vital importance of Roebuck Bay when there's BirdLife in Holland are prepared to uh, employ me to work here. So it was a very, very nice catch and we were nice and efficient at the net. The, uh, it always looks a bit, it's a bit like organised chaos. There's a lot of carrying on but the birds were in the net, into the cages very quick, a bit more now. Uh, just down that bottom bit, so we know it. Uh, bit that's it. Not I've got quite a lot of my experienced volunteers here as well today, which is always a great bonus to me. They've been doing it for years, they're all highly skilled, so even with this big catch, we'll be perfectly safe in this nice weather. Uh, Liz, code two, blue line, red line. Female, two body molt. Zero breeding plumage. Five to the ten, aged two. And um, we can do the tasks. Right, Jingle, you come with me. Neil, you come with me. Chris, when you've done the measurements, you come and join me. Yep. Same for you. We're going to release lots of birds. Uh, 58.4. All right, can I have people who aren't doing anything? We need lots of hands, lots of hands. More release hands. Here we are, girl. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> I'm Tada. <laughs> How long have you been doing working with the birds? Uh, with birds, um, eight months in Australia. Yeah, I was in. Um, uh, Victoria with a study group before. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm just cleared the right. Yeah. Right, Wimbledon down to Wendy. That should be six, I think. Yeah. Six, six. See if she can find another empty Wimbledon cage if we can. Right, Margaret. Yeah. Are you doing anything? Yeah. All right, we need to let some of these guys go. All right, give me room. All right, blue, blue, line, line. Blue, blue, line, line. Fly. Blue, line, red, line. They're not old enough to be days. 
and this is all too good to be gay. This is a two, so what he's done is malted in advance of the adults and they've got some wear. That's a two. They're five, that is five to the ten, but with some wear, but that is a two year old. I'm quite, quite confident that's a two. And with the, with the juniors, what are uh, the juniors? The juniors will definitely have all old, they'll probably, probably have all old secondaries and they'll have old coverts dotted through here. You see how these are all the same? These are all the same. You'll see old brown coverts dotted through here. Bring me the first three, four, five birds. Sure. Right? So th that one's more than a year old? Yeah, that's a yeah. two. Same. Same. Once you've measured 300 wings, you should be competent. Once you've measured 300 bills, you should be competent. Once you've looked at 3,000 malts, you're nowhere near got an idea what's going on. I've been doing it for 13 years, I'm still learning. It is undoubtedly the most interesting part of the work we do. It's the real intellectual part of the field work. It really is, it's great. It doesn't look as uniform as that, it looks much more speckled, if you like. We had a, a lovely catch, the birds behaved pretty well. Um, they all ended up in front of the, well, the majority ended up in front of the net. We fired, caught probably 200, 220. A mix of species, which was really nice. Wimbrels, tattlers, godwits, knots, terex, turnstones, a really lovely mix. Which is something that doesn't always happen to us in the winter. It happens in the summer season, but not now. So I'm very happy with today and the fantastic group of volunteers. Some of them have been out here for 10 hours working their socks off to try and find out more about these wonderful migratory shorebirds.